Uh, I know the first one was um, acting like a cat. So you're you're brutal. You're brutally honest. Um, uh, advice to people starts with be a cat. Yeah, well, it's it's be an outdoor cat. Um, you know, I grew up in the country. Yeah. And so, uh, Roger, this is actually, I want to give credit where credit's due. A good friend of mine, actually, I was on the phone with him for about an hour this morning um, out of Baltimore, Maryland. We were talking about this and um, what he said, it's Andrew Undum, by the way, what he said was, is I'd heard him one time say, hey, listen, um, for his team, you know what he wants? He wants outdoor cats. He didn't want any indoor cats. And if you think about what's an outdoor cat, an outdoor cat wakes up every day. Outdoor cat knows that nobody's going to feed him. Outdoor cat realizes if I'm hungry this morning, I'm going to eat. I got to go kill something so that I can eat. Indoor cat sits inside and waits on somebody to come home and feed them. Right. Indoor cat comes in and the second that somebody shows them attention, they, you know, they just kind of, they, they almost like act like they don't want their attention. Um, an outdoor cat makes things happen. And um, so when I was talking about this, I was like, look, I, I want to be around outdoor cats. I want to be around people that don't wait on things and they don't react to things, but they, make things around them react to them, uh, that they go out and they take action in a way that they're not going to just sit back. This was the problem during the pandemic is, is the business was so good that sometimes what can happen is it's just like anything else. If you don't work out or you don't do certain things, you're going to have muscle atrophy. Yep. Well, when you have a market like we had, where it was just literally coming at us so fast and all you had to do was just catch it and just try to take, try to hang on because there's so much business coming at you then you forget how to market. You forget how to negotiate uh, as well as you possibly yep. did in the past. Forget how to service clients. You forget how to follow up after the sale to build relationship. And so where we are right now is, is we're at a place where you have to begin to understand that what you did in the past is not going to get you where you want to be in the future. So what is it that you're going to do to not wait on it to happen, not wait on somebody to feed you or call you to ask you to go show them property? What is it you're going to do to get up and make that happen in a way like an outdoor cat? I guess you could say that was just the analogy I used yeah, I like um, in a way that, or that you're not just sitting around because you have to understand we are in a business where, listen, if you want to eat, you've got to go sell something. And so um, what does that look like? Um, and it's different for everybody. You know, you, I mean, whatever you said, that is for you, you said equal uh, I mean, easy equals lazy. And, That's it. And I it can remember, does. you know, uh, in my 20 some year of, uh, of building and running my real estate company, the, one of the things that was interesting, every time the market got really good, you would see people fall off the basics. It just got too yeah. easy. And, and I remember, yeah. I remember having conversations with agents saying, you know, you got to get back. To, I know you're doing good. No, you're doing good, but you got to get back on track to some of this fundamental stuff because it doesn't always stay this way. And I would even have agents go, gosh, he's never happy, you know, with what we do. It's like, and it, and it's like, I, I'm going to be here in 20, 30 right. years. I want you to be here in 20, 30 years. Right. Get back on track.